Hello my beauties, welcome to my skincare series and today we are going to talk about serums. So now this is actually quite an interesting topic because there is actually a lot of information about serums as well as some confusing information about serums. So today I thought it would be a great opportunity to sit down and talk to you guys about what serums are and what you should be looking for when you go out shopping for a serum. Like always, I'm going to talk about the history of serums. It actually rose to fame in the early to mid 90s. See back then, skincare was quite simple. You've got cleanser, toner and moisture and that was it. Serums only became about when they realized there was more than one skin concern. Serum basically means a concentration of an active ingredient that's been designed and created to penetrate deeper down into the dermis layer of the skin, doing the things that it was supposed to design to do, example, hydration, moisturizing, brightening or acne preventing. Serums are actually penetrating down to the dermis layer of the skin because they have smaller molecules which means it can be absorbed faster and work a lot better. So all of those things can become in different forms whether it's in a serum form, an essence form, ampule, elixir, the list goes on. They all have active ingredients and all have a concentration of an active ingredient that works on the deeper levels of the skin. There are some elixirs or like ampules that's more oil based and those are supposedly serums that applied before moisturizer. Those usually target skin concerns which um, battles dehydration or brightening. Now some of you guys might also have heard of Essence. Essence is basically a more water-based serum. So for example, the SK2 um, facial treatment essence, the reason why it's called an essence and not a serum, even though it's been applied like a serum, is because of the texture of the actual product. It is more water-based. Serum is usually applied before the moisturizer and after the toner. And I know nowadays there's so much confusion out there with pre-lotions, pre-toners, pre-serums, and all those things, and it gets quite confusing because each product does a certain things. The reason why there are so many steps nowadays because we realize that skin is so complex and skin can have different identities and different needs and that's why there's so many out products out there that could be designed for your skin and your skin type. The easiest way to know what to put on your skin first is by looking at the consistency or the texture of the product. So you always go from more fluid like, like a water, to a thick paste. So if you know that you have an essence or a pre-lotion or a toner or a serum, just look at which texture is the lightest and apply that one on first. That way you know that it's been absorbed into the skin first and you're not actually putting moisturizer which is trapping anything from going on top of it. Serums usually come in a pump bottle form or a droplet bottle form. Rarely do you get them in capsules but you do find them sometimes like that. I find that with pump bottle forms or with droplets, it's a great indication of how much you actually need to use. Usually the instructions will tell you one to two pumps for the whole face or two to three droplets for the whole face. So make sure you read the ingredients and the instructions carefully before applying any serums to your skin. So the most common serums out there on the market targets either acne, hydration, brightening, or anti-aging. And those are basically the four biggest categories in all skincare. If you have sensitive prone skin, it doesn't mean that a serum might work for you because these ingredients are quite active, you might feel that your skin is quite irritated. So you definitely need to find out what serums are best suited for your skin type. When you go out there to shop for a serum, you can look on the back of the packaging and you'll usually notice that the main active ingredient is the highest concentration in the actual serum, whether it's 40%, 60%, 75% or 90%. So if you have acne skin, I recommend looking for serums that have vitamin C. Vitamin C helps with skin repair process as well as increases the collagen production. You might also look for serums that contain retinol. Retinols not only have antioxidants, but it also helps to reduce inflammation. Zinc helps to regulate and soothe the skin. And of course, salicylic acid, which helps to unclog pores. So if you're looking for serums to help brighten the skin, then you should be looking for vitamin C as well, because vitamin C helps to brighten and lift the skin. You also want to look for glycolic acid because it gently exfoliates the skin and removes any excess dead skin cells so that this, the serums can actually penetrate deeper down into the skin. It also lightens discoloration. You might also want to look for things like antioxidants like green tea extract or like ferulic acid which actually helps to fight the free radicals and then improve the skin texture. Obviously if you have dry skin then you're looking for a serum to not only hydrate the skin but prevent you from premature aging. So the main ingredients you should be looking for is also vitamin 
vitamin C as well as vitamin E because vitamin E will help to repair the skin from damage as well as hyaluronic acid which helps to retain the moisture in the skin. Another active ingredient you should be looking for especially in anti-aging products is niacinamide which not only helps to improve the skin's elasticity but also helps to increase the level of ceramide that's produced in the skin as well. So of course like I mentioned before there are serums out there that might do multiple of things so you can have a serum that does brightening as well as acne or hydration as well as anti-aging so you might see a, a mixture of those ingredients in the same product as you probably have noticed that vitamin C is common throughout all skincare type vitamin C is probably one of the most popular serums that you can find on the market the thing about vitamin C is that it can be a little bit sensitive in terms of the length that it's actually for a lot of fresh vitamin C serums out there have a use by date within a month or um, within six months or something a lot shorter because once it's in contact with air it can actually alter the effect of the vitamin C however nowadays with technology there are definitely more serums that are more water soluble and they can contain effectiveness of the vitamin C for longer so you just gotta shop around and see what works for you so as you can see there's a lot of information about serums and the best thing I would suggest is actually going out there and trying the serums for yourself. You never really know what works for you unless you've tried it. For me personally I love playing with serums because I know that serums are things that are actually going to give you the most effect from your skincare regime. I would suggest go out there and try it and if you have any other questions leave your comments below and again I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Otherwise you can say hello to me on my social medias. And of course, send me some love by subscribing to my channel if you want new videos. So thank you guys for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!